Hi, for this video, what I want to do is show you how to find the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation of a probability distribution using Excel. So you will need to know the formulas in order to be able to plug them into Excel. Uh, so the mean is also known as the expected value. So if it asks you to find the expected value, you would just use the same formula. And to find the mean, it's very similar to the weighted mean formula, but in weighted means, you divide by the sum of the weights. In this case, since we're dividing by the sum of the probabilities of x, and those are equal to 1, you don't have to do divided by in this case. Um, so all you have to do is take your value of your random variable, all of the possible values of x, times the probability of x, and then you find the sum of that product. Okay. Um, to find the variance, you have to find each individual value, subtract the mean from each of those, square each of those differences, and then take each of those differences and multiply it times the probability of x. And then you sum that column. So you could actually go through and do this step by step and show the work, but I'm just going to show you how to use the formulas built into Excel. So I have a problem in Excel. Um, my possible values of x that I can have are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And my probabilities are 0 0.15, 0 0.23, 0 0.27, 0 0.21, 0 0.14. Um, since this is a probability distribution, remember in order to be a probability distribution, all of your values have to be between 0 and 1, which they are. And the sum of your probabilities has to equal 1. So if I found the sum of this list right here, and hit enter, I can see that that equals 1. So we can, we verified that this is a probability distribution. Okay, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to find the mean, and we are going to find the variance, and last we are going to find this standard deviation. And I've set this up to where um, I can see my screen, and the reason for that is I want you to be able to see the formulas as I am going through and typing in the values into here. So essentially I'm using this formula right here. Remember we talked about that this is the sum of the product. Okay, so the nice thing is, is there's a formula in Excel that is called the sum product. And so that's going to find the sum of the product of two columns. So you would have to first select your x variables so the a2 through a6 are where my x variable values are and then i'm going to separate it with a comma so if you look up at the top i also have my formula and then i'm going to select my probabilities okay so all i did is that i want to take and multiply everything in a2 through a6 by everything in b2 through b6 and then i want to add up those products so that's what we're telling excel to do and when I hit enter, we can see that the mean is 2.96. So 2.96 is the mean of this probability distribution. The variance is this part of the formula right here. So we actually are going to do the same thing because remember, we're doing the sum of the product. So for this one, we're going to start the same way. We're going to type in sum product. And then here you have to be careful because of the fact that we have an operation that we want to do where we have to take the individual values and we want to subtract the mean. So what we have to do is start a new parenthesis. Make sure that you start a new parenthesis here um, because otherwise you will get the wrong answer. My X values are in A2 through A6, so I would select those values. And then I'm going to subtract the mean from each of those values. So I'm going to select where my mean is. Um, so we did have to find the mean first in order to do this. So I would do B10 is where my mean is. So you would just select whatever cell you put your mean in. So your mean might be in a different cell than mine, B10, but you would just select it. Okay, we want to close the parentheses after that because we have a parenthesis here and we're going to square it. So to square it, you're going to use what I call the caret key. We're going to just shift up. This um, Excel rep recognizes as an exponent. And then I would put two. So all I did was put this part in here. My X values minus the mean squared. And then now I want to take in my second array is my probabilities. So I'm going to multiply those results by the probability of x. So b2, um, 
through B6. And then when I hit enter, it gives me the variance. Now remember the relationship between the standard deviation and the variance is that the standard deviation is the square root of the variance. So all I have to do is hit equal square root and then I can select the cell that I want to find the square root of and enter and it gives me my standard deviation. So 1.264278 would be my standard deviation. And then you would just round it to whatever place they asked you to do. Okay, um, so that's the way to use the formulas. If you are in a class where you actually have to show out your work to find the mean, you could always add an X um, times the probability of X column here. And you could just type in equals this one times the next one. And the nice thing with Excel is after I hit equals on that, I can actually just go through and drag it down. And then I could say equals the sum of this list. And it will give me the same value. So you can see that using Excel to actually multiply all of the values and add them up, this would be your work that you would have to show. Um, for the variance, you would have to then do an X minus the mean. Um, instead of trying to find the symbol for mu, I'm just going to put X minus mean. I can do equals, select this cell, minus my mean that I just found. And for this one, we don't want it to change, so I'm gonna highlight it and hit F4. It's gonna put dollar signs in front of it. You could also type in the dollar sign individually, but what this will do is it will keep the B10 from changing so it doesn't go down to the next cell. And so then when I pull this down, it will automatically um, give me my values that I want. Okay, and then I would have to do the square of those. So the square, x minus the mean squared. Um, I'm just not going to put that in there, but this is the x minus mean squared. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I want to take this column here and I want to square it. So if you had to show your work for this and you actually had to fill in the table, um, you can use Excel to find those values to fill in the table for you. And then remember the last part of the formula. Um, so the last part of our variance formula, if I come back over here, is multiplying it by the probability of X and then finding the sum of that. Um, so now we would have to do the column, the X minus mean squared times the probability of X. Okay, so I'm just going to put times the probability of X. So I'm going to take this column here, the 3.8416, this column, and I'm going to say equals this times my probability column, which is here. And then I can just drag that down. And then remember, we need the sum of that in order to get the variance. So I want to just find the sum of this column and enter and notice I get the same exact answer that I had here, the 1.5984. And then you would just have to square that value. So this is a lot longer, but this is how you would have to do this if you were doing it step by step. Um, so just to show you that if you did need to show your work, because I know that I had some professors in grad school that required me to show the work. So I would use a spreadsheet screen to help me find all the values. And then I would just write them down. Um, instead of individually going through and doing it by hand. So hopefully this video helped you to find the mean, the variance, the standard deviation of a probability distribution in Excel. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.